so we're back with our community discussion. I love how it's like shaping up into these three parts. Um, but it feels right. It feels like what we're supposed to do. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. I found myself um, falling asleep during that one, even though it's my own voice. <laughs> um, and I was sitting up. Um, and I go, I don't know, it was funny because I was saying beforehand that my, I could feel, you know, my belly gets all crazy when I'm talking to a lot of people at once. Um, and then I just finally allowed the meditation to ground me and it, and it happened. So I started getting really sleepy. <laughs> so that was cool. Um, so my Zoom people, if you feel like chatting with me, I'd love it. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll try to do, uh, you know, one at a time. And I'll go with my upper left quadrant for me is Laura. <laughs> Laura, how is your homework? Hi, guys. Hi, Katie. Hi, um, Angela. It's good. I did a lot of art this week, which I haven't in a while. What kind of art? Um, drawing, sculpting. Oh, you did like drawing. Okay. So, yeah. you, I mean, you do the sculpting a lot. Do you do the drawing a lot? Um, not so much, but I did this past week. Cool. So. Yeah. That's cool. And then you did your, you finished up your poem, which you finished shared. Finished yeah. <laughs> awesome. So you did your, your first thing was creating something and you did it. Hey, Karen. Um, Kathleen, you want to share? Sure. So I'm not the most, like, artistic person, to be honest with you, in yeah. terms of creating things. So what I did was I had two friends that have really been struggling with the isolation, being home with their kids, and just mm -hmm. having issues, like, in their relationship. So last night, actually, I did a social distance bonfire in my backyard. Okay. And I had them both over and we sat probably actually like 10 feet apart. So, <laughs> and, um, <laughs> I love to have people at my house and I love to take care of people. That's what like makes my soul feel good. So having them over and creating this experience for them and I had snacks and drinks and I had hand sanitizer out the whole night and they left my house I could just tell lighter and happier so like I created that for them and it made me feel better so that's what I did this week to create something that's awesome that's probably one of the hardest things right now especially if you're used to being in person and taking care of people you know it, I'm also like a touchy person yeah I people, <laughs> people that's who I am so yeah this has been really rough for me exactly so just to even see them and just talk and have other people around me. It was, it, it actually really like recharged me for yeah. sure. So. so, I mean, that's a really yeah. good example of how we don't, maybe don't, maybe you guys do, but not everybody necessarily realizes that we do rely on each other to recharge. Um, yeah. it's really the perfect example of that. You know, that's like we, especially when we're not getting the touch and then we're not even getting like the contact, like visually, <laughs> Like even even right. ten feet away from each other, it's um, it's just unbelievable. You know that's why we don't we don't we're not supposed to be isolated. Like that's we don't do well like this. <laughs> so yeah, and they were like comfortable coming over and yeah, you know we stayed we we did the social distancing, but just to be around other energy was just yeah. like it, like so great for me. And they both texted me like when I got home and they thanked. It just was like it felt really good. So yeah. So that just um, I just wanted to speak about one thing. So even though we're doing social distancing, thank you for that, because this really brings up something super important. Um, if you believe in aura, like, I don't know, I don't really know a lot of people that don't believe in an aura, but your aura is all of your energy, how we talk about the seven chakras and the, I don't know why I'm so like shaky tonight, but <laughs> sorry, um, in my meditation. So those are your seven main chakras. That's what we speak of. We only speak of the seven main ones, but what happens is when we focus on them and when we do the work on them, like what we're doing every week now, which is awesome, and maybe even every day for some of you, when those chakras learn how to vibrate and open faster and like and can close when they don't feel safe and all this like wonderful intricacies that they can do. Hi, Katie. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Danielle. Um, what happens is the aura can't contain itself. That's really what happens. It can't contain itself and it gets wider and wider and wider and expands way beyond your body. So you said it, you could feel their energy, right? Yeah. And you lifting them up and like bringing them into some normalcy and feeling safe. You made them feel safe as well, safe and welcomed, 
and you had the energy of the fire there. So you actually built their aura up too. And that's exactly what we're trying to do here. So by you doing that, you raise their vibration. Okay, just wanted to like connect the dots. And what you're, the energy that you're feeling is the expansion of their aura. Cool, right? Yes. Now we have words for it. Awesome. Thanks for the share. Does anybody else want to share? Just some of you don't have um, audio or video, so I don't know if you want to share. But if you're, there we go. <laughs> if you want to share, Kristen, would you like to do a share? Sure. How'd your homework go? Good. <laughs> yes. Oh, I, oh, wait, it disappeared into the background. So let me sh show you guys on Facebook. Hold on. So Kristen. My screen is not cooperating. Okay. Well, Kristen does I, these awesome. Yeah. All right. So, well, if you can see it. But there's like a story behind it. So the problem was that I got stagnated on this one. I stalled. I've been, it's taken, it took me the better part of, I want to say seven or eight days to finish that one. Can you put it up and again? Because we didn't all see it. it. So she I, gets these black and I, white I, images. I, I, hold on. I think I can share it on my screen. Hold on a minute. Okay. Black and okay. white images. And then she does pencil drawing, oh, no, coloring okay. over it. And it oh. looks like amazing. Can you guys see that? You might have to take a picture. Of, but it's... Let me take my, my background down. It's gorgeous. So I... Um... We'll talk as you do it. <laughs> Oh, wow, it's beautiful. Yeah. Okay, so this took me, I would say, probably seven or eight days to do, and they normally take me four to six hours. Yeah. And so I was actually, in the beginning, knocking them out one a day. I, you know, after I was done working, I'd come, you know, turn on TV, have my dinner, mm -hmm. and then I'd just sit here and color them in and do all the, you know, test of the colors, where they go, and... And it, would, it was just very relaxing. I, I was not even so much watching the TV as listening to it. Um, because where the light source is in this room does not really allow me to do both. Um, although I did figure out an alternative now. <laughs> but that's another story. And, and I, so I was really stagnated and stalled on it. And then Friday night, really great day and then bad day. And I was up till four in the morning finishing that. How'd you feel? So, how'd you feel when you finally finished it? Relieved that it was done. Believe yeah, it like not. it was more mature than pleasure. Like I, I just had to finish it to get on to the next one. Okay. And now that I'm, I'm into the next one, I, I'm 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 kind of back into. I'm just a slower groove. I'm not trying to finish it in a day anymore. Um, I don't know what that compulsion was when I first started them, <laughs> like, but I yeah. did start another one and I'm taking my time with it, but I'm, I, but I do it every day. So I didn't just like put it in a drawer and forget about it. Like I did with the last one. So I finished that one. I started a new one. I'll give you a preview. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. Hold on. Friends over here. Come over here. <laughs> I have a preview. Okay, so here's the preview. That's how far I've gotten. It's not done. It's so pretty. This one is what, this is ultimately the goal of what That's it will look like. Awesome. Really good. So. That's great. I did that. Um, I do breath work every day anyway. Like, over the course of the day. That's just, mm -hmm. that's how I keep my anxiety in check. And when I, when I feel an anxiety when starting breath is what usually can check it before it gets ramped up crazy. Um, but I am one of those in isolation completely alone. I don't even have a pet. Yeah. So I do go outside and sit in the courtyard when it's not like cold, rainy or really blustery because that courtyard is walled in. Mm -hmm. And then when the wind gets in there, it's mm -hmm. like its own little cyclone. It's really crazy. But, um, that's, yeah, so I did that and, um, I'm, I'm, I'm walking more, but like within my house, I, I, I know yeah. that sounds weird. 
I'm doing a lot of walking, like, within the house. So I, like, actively get up while I'm on conference calls, and I'll, like, pace the room and whatever. Um, instead of just sitting in the chair and staring at a blank screen. <laughs> yeah. They don't know They don't know why I'm pacing around the house. They don't care. No, that's all good. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Anybody else want to share? Silence. <laughs> Who said that? No, it's not the name. Sheena? Like... Yes. Go ahead, Sheena. So, my training wasn't really groundbreaking this week. I cooked. But I made something out of my element. I cooked Chinese food. Nice. Yeah, so it was good. I had to, like, get the right ingredients that I had to wait two weeks to get. Hey, it was worth it. <laughs> so, it was, like, two weeks waiting for fried rice. Literally. But, um... So that was whatever. It was fine. Um, but I reached out to an old client, which was super nice. And I've been riding my bike, so I keep passing her house. And I'm like, you know, I really should just go say hi. So I texted her, and I'm going to go bike riding again and then stop by and say hi. Awesome. And, like, walk on the street. and then I reached out to another friend, too, which happened, like, so naturally that one of her um, pets passed away. And then we just got in talking and she gave me a call and we like caught up we haven't spoken like a few months mm. now. it was nice so that it's reaching good. out to yeah, a, somebody is good i've been already doing that i've been reaching out to a lot of like old friends for the last month or so I should say. well I you're pretty remember. intuitive so I'm, i don't doubt that yeah yeah it's, it's been feeling good like it's i go with the flow of it that's yeah there are plenty of people that don't do that believe it or not and that's those are the third shock of people, right? The ones that they think, they think, they think, they think, and then they just don't do anything else. <laughs> so, oh. <laughs> so your, your, uh, intentions are strong and you go through it, through them with action. But a lot of people, believe it or not, they'll just be like, Oh, I was thinking about them. And then I just didn't do anything. So, yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah. So yeah, um, you should be like, kudos to you instead of being like, Oh, it was nothing. That was fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. It's fine. It's good. It's good. It's good. Usually, you know, when we have somebody enter our mind and, and we do act on it, it's almost immediately rewarding, which is yeah. pretty amazing Absolutely. if you think about that. I think if someone comes to our mind also, it's usually for a reason. That's yeah. That's my cat's here. So cute. Um. <laughs> so cute. screaming. Can you guys hear him? Was it oh, I missed it. Oh, he's just meowing. Meow. Awesome. Um, I'm going to skip to some people on Facebook. Anybody on Facebook that's not on Zoom, um, did you create something this week or reach out to anybody that you were thinking of or figure out some anxiety triggers or anything else you want to share? We give them a moment. I think they're on, like, delay. Okay, so why they're answering that. Um, anybody else want to share? Mm, I'll just sing to you. <laughs> it's fine with me. It's all good. All right, so I'll share. How's that? Um, well, I mean, this is out of my, you know, com comfort zone quite a bit. <laughs> so, um, but I appreciate it. You know, like I understand why I'm doing it so I can get, get myself to do it. But what else did I create this week? Um, well, this is, I created a little spark that I forgot about. And I'll tell you about that. I posted it last night. So I told my friend Carrie, hi Carrie. Um, I was like, you know what? I don't feel like doing the bike tonight. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do yoga. <laughs> laughing because I don't know where this came into my mind, but I decided to YouTube hip hop Bollywood <laughs> instead. <laughs> so I did Bollywood dancing last night for like well over an hour. Um, and I was, basically laughing the whole time because <laughs> like I don't have the shoes for it I'm on a rug like I don't look sexy <laughs> I was like a mess and my husband came out <laughs> and he almost died he was like what the hell is going on <laughs> like, can you hear this loud Bollywood music oh my god it was just so funny and it's not just Bollywood it's hip-hop Bollywood so that was um probably one of the funniest things I, I did alone this week that I can't wait to do again. <laughs> so it's making me cry. It made me laugh so hard. <laughs> but I was like, some of it, I was like, oh yeah, I can still dance. I'm good at this. The other parts, I'm like, this is so awkward. I'm awful. <laughs> but well, 
it was it was amazing it was amazing and then i kept skipping I'm like i don't want this i don't you know i kept switching it over but um i was i was drenched <laughs> so i was like this is great so that's something um to everybody think about if you like to dance just look up something ridiculous on youtube and try to do it it doesn't have to be bollywood i mean Hip hop Bollywood. I mean, okay. it goes from like all slow and whatever, but your legs are still going fast. It's just so funny because like if you do it terribly, it doesn't look good. <laughs> so, but and is it kind of like belly dancing too, right? Like, well, there's belly. Yeah, there's belly dance moves in it. Absolutely. So right, yeah. Yeah. That's so fun. yeah. Oddly enough, like I feel very comfortable doing that type of dance, so it's very very funny to me. I'm like, but poor Bill, man, his face was like, what's happening? <laughs> And he didn't make fun of me at all. He was just like, that was not what I was expecting to come downstairs to. I'm like, what's up? <laughs> so, so that was my create my creation right there. That was awesome. <laughs> really, really funny. Yep. So people that are not used to doing the breath work, anybody not used to doing breath work every day? Oh, everybody's old pros, huh? Okay, fine. <laughs> Um, I'm going to let you know what happens to some people that are not used to doing breath work every day. Um, a lot of self doubt and chatter of, I can't do this. This is stupid. I'm not good enough for this, or just more of this is stupid because of whatever. Um, and if you're, if they're not doing like a simple breath, which I kind of told you guys to do whatever you feel comfortable with, but alternate nostril, which I can go over at any time. Um, cause each pranayama has its own specification of why you would do it and um people start to get like confused about it they can get lightheaded um they could just feel they they say i feel weird which generally when people meditate and say i feel weird it's more because they're a little bit more um elevated than normal literally so and they don't know how to like necessarily ground back into it. it's just a different feeling for them and breath work can do the same type of thing so all this stuff is just to start to bear witness to it. So if you're doing five minutes of breath work a day and your mind is like, oh, I'm so used to this and clear of it, then layer it on with something else where it's a different type of breath work. Um, so you have a different challenge and um, like alternate nostril breathing, which is pretty common, like, you know, whatever, let's go over it now. You're all up for it? No, yes, not, nope. I need feedback. <laughs> Okay, so alternate nostril breath is used for unifying the minds because we're breathing up one side and the breath goes to the other side. Um, so you can do like hang loose fingers or you can just do like whatever's easier for you. Um, if you tend to have a lot of congestion, it, it's not the most fun breath, which I mean, Renee's like, ah, I don't like this. <laughs> so, so that's fine and you don't have to do it. But <laughs> um, basically... This is for unifying the mind, which is really the perfect time for this type of thing. Um, so I'm gonna use the hang loose sign. And normally you close off the left nostril first, which is my pinky. Am I saying that right? Is it the right nostril? Now I'm confusing myself, whatever. Inhale through the left. Close off both. Exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Close off both. Exhale left. And then you can always add what's called an internal kumbak, which is just the hold at the top. So it's inhale through the left. Hold at the top. Three, two, one. Exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Close off. Holding four counts. Exhale through the left. And again, inhale through the left, holding for four, exhale through the right. So you can continue if you want. So that's alternate nostril. Um, in Sanskrit, it's called Nadi Shadana. Um, so yeah, it goes, it oxygenates the opposite side of the brain because that's how our wires are literally crossed like that. Danielle's saying she didn't know about that. Yes, it's very interesting. Hi, Margaret. Um, so that type of breath can really unify things. And people that have a lot of, um, you know, mental things going on where they're either, um, you know, whatever. It could be 
depression, bipolar, it doesn't have to be as severe. It could just be like our, our minds are always going. So it's not only just the breath, but it also focuses right on the, the third eye. And the third eye is what um, people that live in their head have a very difficult time calming down. Um, just a side note, you know, if you're having a hard time falling asleep, one of the first things that I'll tell you to do is like put your arm like this, unless you have an eye pillow, or you can make one with a sock and rice, that's cool too. Um, but just doing that, after about five, 10 minutes and like slow breath, you'll start to feel a lot calmer. You can always use stones as well, but just covering the third eye. Yeah, that's why we have like that natural incl inclination to just do that, like we just know. They're like, oh, okay. <laughs> um, but that goes right into the third eye area um, and that calms everything down, so. That's another good thing to do. And it's really great with little kids too, because you can easily take um, a soft little plush, you know, even a weighted one, he's like a beanie baby is perfect. And you just put it right there and they're like, oh, they're so happy, everything's all good. Or you could put them on their belly too and they can see it raise up and down. Um, so that's that third eye area, but that goes right into the alternate nostril breath. So that's what's going on. Hi, Kim. Um, so we have our check-ins. We went over a little bit of our homework. Does anybody else want to share before we move on? Silence, that's fine with me. Okay, so your continued homework, obviously, is to share this. And actually, people on Facebook Live, I really should say um, at the beginning next time, hopefully I remember, like you should make a, a Facebook Live watch. So as soon as you log on to watch me on Facebook Live, you can make your own watch, and then other people might log on through your Facebook to watch us um and i love that we're sharing probably with the people that we think might be interested your challenge this week should you choose to accept it is to recruit somebody that is not necessarily interested <laughs> um you know danielle's going oh how do you do that how do you recruit somebody or how do you do uh, a facebook watch <laughs> Recruiting somebody who doesn't really want to do something, um, you just keep offering and you just make light of it and you don't make them feel like they're stupid or not as cool or spiritual as you. You just be, Danielle, I'll tell you how to do a watch in a second. Um, you just keep saying it. And just like when your partner doesn't hear you say the same thing 500 times, you're like, I just, I told them that. I told them that. I told them that. I told them that. And then somebody came in and then they told them the same thing and they heard it right? Um, or I always say the 501th time I said it, then they got it. So you just keep opening up to it. And eventually, you never know when it's going to happen. They're going to go, hey, you know what? I heard that meditation was really good for you and can help calm you down <laughs> and help bring good things into the world. And you're going to go, oh, yeah, I remember telling you that. And maybe you'll be able to hold back the I told you so. Maybe not, and it's okay. <laughs> Chris is going, no, I can't hold that. But so that's your first homework this week is just try to reach out to people that are not sure or just inexperienced that you wouldn't necessarily think would be interested. And let's do our second homework. So second homework is going to be to try a different type of, of breath work. So we just went over alternate nostril. If you need help remembering that or you want another suggestion, because that doesn't work for you, if you tend to be a person that runs hot, there's Satoli breath. I always mess up how I say it. Satoli, Satoli, S-I-T-O-L-I -I breath, which is just a curving of the tongue like this. Breathing in and out. That's really great for people that have um, menopausal issues too. Just a hint. Um, there's different types of breath like that. So that's your second homework. And your third homework is to do something out of your comfort zone directly. So that could be in creating something, that could be, what else? How else could that be? Something out of your comfort zone. Trying a different type of exercise, maybe looking at something like, um, I don't know, some musical thing that you wouldn't normally share with people or sing to or something like that. Just getting out there. So just three main things. Got it. Okay. Um, to answer your question, how do you do Facebook watch? I have to look at somebody else's live thing, but basically when you see somebody going live, you just come on to it like you did now for this. And then it will say, I think it says to share or something, right? 
It says like start a watch party. <coughs> okay, it will say start a watch party on it. And that's all you have to do. And then I think you can actually invite people directly or you could just post it on your page passively and see if people join. I need some water. <coughs> okay. So we got our three things for homework. And I think we're good. Okay. Thumbs up. Good to go. Yeah. I'm so happy you guys joined me. Who Who is Nick? Hi, Nick. I don't know who he is. <laughs> Um, he's a friend of mine. Okay. Well. Hi, Nick McGrady. <laughs> he actually, he actually married Chris and I. Oh, hi, uh, Nick. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> I was like, who's that? And who's, who's iPhone? It just says iPhone. Who's iPhone? Um, my mom was iPhone before, but oh. I don't think she's still on. So she's, I'm not sure. she's changed. <laughs> she's Maybe. Great. All right. What's that? It's my friend Liz. That's, oh, that's Liz? Oh, okay. Awesome. I love it. I love this. I don't want to hang up. It's so cool. Let's watch a movie together. I paid for the real Zoom <laughs> thing now so we could watch for 24 hours straight if we want to. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Um, so yeah, I mean, a week goes fast. You can see how these like little check-ins, they can do a lot. They can help us keep connected and also just challenge us to keep going spiritually forward with, um, you know, it's all good. But Nick, you have like the sweetest little face. <laughs> oh, <thanks. laughs> oh my God. What a cute smile. I love it. Thank you. Aw. Jordan, what are you eating? You're so quiet tonight. Why are you you're not sharing it? What is it's Ralph's? You got Ralph's? Did you light saw the top of it before you ate it? Or <laughs> that's terrible. Alright, I'm done with the bad jokes, guys. So <laughs> Unless somebody wants to sing to me, which I'm open to. Kristen, you want to sing anything? No? Uh, happy birthday. Happy birthday? All right. <laughs> Couple months late, but, but that's cool. Your voice is shot right now. Your voice is shot. We need to figure out how to do Zoom with, with real music. I saw that post and I fully agree with it. I'm, I'm, Chris, I'm busy trying to get that done for my church right now because we're going to be in lockdown for a lot longer than we think. So it's, it's possible what her, my wife is singing for our church next week and she's recording her playing piano and then playing that as she actually sings. But like our choir keeps trying to sing at the same time and everyone unmutes themselves. And it's a disaster. You can't do I that. Shut, yeah. You I, have to, I, I you have to have no, your, no, you have to have your headphones in with a mic. Otherwise, yeah, we told them, but the people keep like trying to, but they don't understand. <laughs> No, yeah, it doesn't work. It doesn't I, work. I, I'm the tech producer for our church services and the choir director, and I'm telling you, right out of the gate from day one, I was like, nobody sings. Piano plays, that's it. <laughs> Everybody sings at home on mute. That's Don't it. Yourself. Well, sing to yourself. Ten, well, hold on. Ten weeks later, I had people unmuting today. I'm like, we've been doing it right for ten weeks. We're going with you people. They're getting excited, all antsy. You can't stop the music, Kristen. You can't stop it. Yeah. You're cut off. You're, cut, you're all cut <laughs> off. You get nothing. <laughs> yeah, that youth group that I shared last week, um, they were like, oh, why don't you join us for the next thing, which is Blue Bayou, which I'd never heard in my life. Um, they're like, it's the family Cox version of Blue Bayou. I'm like, oh, boy. So I listened to it. I'm like, this is a hard song. <laughs> like, oh you, Kristen, you know that song. I do. I, that's why. That's what I sing regularly. I I figured that. I'm gonna make you sing for me. There you go. I don't have to do it now. Old Linda Ronstadt. Yeah, that's it's okay. Linda Ronstadt, but it's the it's the Cox family version. Okay, so. My bad. Yeah, all wrong. <laughs> all sorts of wrong. Anyway, guys. Oh, Christine's watching. How could I log off when people are coming on now? What is he doing? Hello. Oh, I'm just gonna stay on Facebook Live all night. Let's see if they kick me off. I don't know. What's up? How are you guys doing on Facebook Live? Nobody said anything about their homework. Did you create anything? Did you reach out to anybody? <laughs> Nothing? Just thumbs up and lots of hearts. I love it, but <laughs> what's going on? All right. All right. We're going. I don't know if I'm going to Bollywood tonight, but uh, <laughs> eventually, eventually I'll get brave enough to take a video of it. And that's what you do. You got a video. 
I know, but the thing is, it's it's too sexy to video, <laughs> so it's like, I don't know if I can really... Yeah, I'll just do the, the light bulb part. <laughs> I, don't know, I won't show anything else, I'm like, screw in the light bulb, screw in the light bulb, but I don't know. I was like, Bill, at some point, like, I want you to, you know, videotape this, and I'm like, but I, it's, I can't do it, like, it's too, it's too much. We'll see, but anyway, if anybody wants to Zoom Bollywood dance with me, we could do that, too. Which is ridiculous <laughs> and hard. And she was like, I'll have to be on my bed. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll my take sister it. married into an Indian family and we had and they had a Bollywood reception and I'm pretty sure I don't remember dancing for any part of that. Oh, so that's terrible. How could you do that? Ah I, you know what though? I have to tell you, watching all of them dance in those multicolored saris. It's amazing. Cool. It's amazing. I stood up there with a camera and took pictures because it was just Yeah, that's cool. what my wedding would have looked like. <laughs> like if I really had my real choices of stuff, I would be like, okay, we're gonna have belly yeah, dancing cool. and you know, what else did I want, Renee? I wanted like aerial artists and drumming yeah, yeah. and Well you wanted us to do a uh, what do you call it? A flash dance. A, a, a mob, yeah, flash, absolutely, flash mob, and I wanted, uh, yeah, so our 10-year anniversary, it's it's just going to be a giant, crazy, hippie shit show, so that's, <laughs> that's so look forward to that, what year are we at, so I got married in 2011, oh my god, it's next year, so by, by next year, <laughs> quarantine will be over, and, uh, <laughs> and we're going to have a crazy hippie party, yay! years ago i got married in 2011 december 2011 no i remember when it was so right? a year and a half from now you all meet me upstate i don't know where yet <laughs> lots of colors some fire dancers we'll have crazy stuff going on all right see more people are joining live just because of this talk so <laughs> so bollywood's happening <laughs> it's all gonna happen it's gonna be crazy all right. All right, guys, I will see you next week. But in between that, do not forget your homework. Do not forget to share and enlist somebody that I'm not saying enlist like that. Don't be a cult. Just be fun and friendly and see if people want to join. Yay. All right. And here's my sign language to you. Thank you. Thanks. You're welcome. Have a good week. Bye, guys. Good night.